Governor DeWine signed a new law to curb domestic violence killings across the state. He has authorized review boards for each county. Michael Sandlin has the details of this plan. And Michael, obviously want to know how would this work and what kind of benefit could we see here? Well, Melissa, these review boards would be made up of county leaders like the health commissioner, the sheriff, the coroner, and eight others working together to find solutions to that challenging issue of stopping violence in the home. I spoke to Christy Jenkins, the CEO of the Family and Child Abuse Prevention Center, who says with some 2,000 victims of domestic violence here annually, this review board is a huge step in the right direction. Is there any sort of issue that we're missing? Is there any sort of resource that should be available that's not? How are other communities doing this? Are they doing it better than us? These are the kinds of questions Christine Jenkins hopes Lucas County's Domestic Violence Fatality Review Board asks itself when it comes together later this year. For 27 years, she's worked in the area trying to heal homes and help victims of domestic violence. And she says anytime new groups of people get involved, it's a win for the community. I, I think any time when we take a deeper dive, we take a, a real clean look with fresh eyes and everyone is collective and wants the greater good of the community, it can only be a good thing. According to the law, one of the review board's biggest goals throughout the year will be collecting detailed information on both new and old cases learning about the deceased and the perpetrator, the cause of death, and details about the relationship leading up to the incident, hoping to find trends and warning signs they can share with the community. Jenkins says, especially with teens, it's important to show them what red flags look like early. Often what happens is they grow up in a household that has domestic violence. That's what was modeled for them, and they end up in those relationships in their adulthood because no one ever told them that anything was wrong with that. Jenkins says this tailor-made approach could be very effective, but her only concern is that with so many different groups on the same board, individual agendas might get in the way of progress. But she says as long as people stay focused on making change, it will be incredibly beneficial. Jenkins says if you or a loved one are living in a domestic violence situation, the Family and Child Abuse Prevention Center has resources available to help you. You can call the number on your screen, 419-244-3053, or contact them on their website, which we have a link to at WTOL.com. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandlin for WTOL 11.